Hey guys, so we're checking out the trailer for Watch Dogs Legion, which just got released with Ubisoft's Forward 2020. I don't know I'm doing that. Just got released today, so I'm checking out two trailers. I've been a big fan of Watch Dogs, really enjoyed the first one, and the second game was a lot of fun as well. So to get a brand new one, and I have seen some trailers to this already, and it looks pretty sick, but this new one looks like it's gone above and beyond. Now, a big thank you out to Ubisoft for reaching out to me and giving me access to these trailers so I could react to them on my channel. They're beautiful, crisp, and HD, so I'm really loving it. So thank you, James, at Ubisoft. I really, really appreciate it. So how about we just dive into the first trailer for Watch Dogs Legions. Three, two, one, go. The illegal paintings spreading some not first actual and hostile gameplay. messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people, as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal, suspected to have links with the terrorist group, the Wow, looks like anarchy, man. Looks good. Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. Welcome to London. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. I like the motion capture they're using. It's they came insane. From the protesters. And I did not speak out because I was not a protester. I like the voice they're using. Wow. Whoa. Shit. Then that was they cool. Came for the journalists. And I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. Loving the look of this. And then they came for street artists. But I did not speak out. Because I am not a street artist. Creepy fucking mask. Oh wow. Nice. It's a great shot. Mine's got a green goblin. Oh, wham. He landed on the bus. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks insane. Oh, stop. And he slid off. Nice. Oh, this is incredible. And I realized that eventually they'd come for me. And there would be no one left to speak for me. Is that him, the taxi driver? Nice. This would be an awesome film. So it's photorealistic. It looks so good. David Ford. Where are we off to, sir? I'll show you the way. Okay. Sorry, Miss. Jesus. Alright, so we're in a total mess now. Let's get the hell out of here. Wow. This is impressive. And there's nothing more debilitating than that. This way. Not to be able to do what you're passionate about. I think he's just about to get recruited. And that's what you can do in this one. You can re recruit other members. Well, well, well. Welcome to the resistance. There's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal. You could have told me it was a bloody costume party. <laughs> Try it off. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old wow. London taxi driver. Didn't take long. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents. Dude just got fucked over. Reclaim your future. 29th of October. Yeah, I think that could be a PS5 game as well, man. That looked insane. Like, that was a really good trailer for 
getting somebody interested in the property that was like sucked me right in right away and i'm already familiar with the property too i enjoyed those first games i really enjoyed watchdogs too that was through san francisco from memory uh, it's been a while i love how they're just using a taxi driver to be the main guy i mean about time taxi drivers had their due you know let's 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 just check out the next one okay so this is the next trailer this is the gameplay trailer let's have a look once again thank you ubisoft these look amazing on my mac so pretty high def gorgeous three two one go i'm easily easily impressed a modern metropolis. So the gameplay trailer, let's have a look. Built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years nice. to build it up. And oh, I miss London. To tear it all down. Wow. Oh my god. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. Albion. What could possibly go wrong? Dude. Ladies and gentlemen, people Mr. About. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. He's kindly <coughs> stepped up to establish order. Understand so there's a large character, large um, cast of characters one. that you can play as. Not even myself to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly, Whoa. head of the most powerful Mary Kelly. crime syndicate in London. Be sure she looks tough. The word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. This word microchip is scary, I know, but I got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. <laughs> you do not want to ruffle her feathers. Wow. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. Nice. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. That's what I love. Like him. Ha. Huh. Or even her. <laughs> Everyone could become your next secret weapon. <laughs> In our first mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. What? All the hardy souls looks you so see good. here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. That's incredible. Dear God, my eyes. Mikey. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone this is in so Sick, ambitious. Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, <laughs> he has a particular set of tools that make him. Oh, handy. no. Oh. He can even call his own cargo drone. <laughs> Little lift. That's Perfect sick. for gate crashing when you're not invited. Ah, oh, the world looks so good. Old gun when you have a bloody nail gun. <laughs> looks like they're having a real sense of fun with it as well. I've been here. This is ridiculous. Jesus Christ! What is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. Well, I love all the character here? designs, man. They're insanely good. Connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Wow. Here we are. Let's class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. Wow, I'm loving it. Incoming drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Another choice. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging. 
but it'll get you inside restricted wow. Albion areas. You could just walk Don't right on in. Just this is so clever. Insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. So many different approaches to gameplay. I love it. the defense minister on the line right now. If you feel you must. Any character you choose opens up a whole different gameplay avenue. It's criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. Looks like they captured London perfectly the in this as well. High quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. <laughs> Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't <laughs> mind getting his hands dirty. Drunk brawling. <laughs> wow. Just taking it to the streets, man. He does have a slight drinking problem, though. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well. Pick we'll another one. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. God, looks like John Wick. It is John Wick. It's almost crass to call him a hitman. Oh my god. So many different ways you can play. Oh. Some might even call him an artist. This looks amazing. Here's the bastard responsible. Ah, <sighs> done and dusted. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Not bad at all. Not everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. Wow, I love this approach. This ain't a game, this ain't a game. So get out there, find the best recruits, and build your resistance. It's time to take back London. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What they're able to pack into this game is just going to be nothing short of astounding. I mean... Good lord. I mean, like I said, the first games are incredible, but this is going above and beyond. Just having that sheer level of character detail and different elements of gameplay. Holy shit. I mean, that's going to be so replayable. So just doing different missions with different people is going to really change it up quite a lot. It looks good. It looks really, really good. I'm, in, I'm really excited for this one. I, I can't wait. So I'm definitely thinking I'm going to pick this one up on the PS5, though, because I'm having a feeling... That is going to look sensational with that HDR and London as a whole. I was in London a few years back, so I'm keen to visit those landmarks and those places I've been to in the game. That should be a lot of fun. Dang, looking good, man. That looks really, really good. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.